we have an interface of dog, okay? And then we are just gonna have the kind of dog. So we say, um, this is a dog, okay? So look, I'm using an interface. I'm basically saying the kind here is a dog. So don't be confused. This is basically a way you can write that. You will say, well, uh, 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 instead of saying it's a string, I'm assigning it the value, the type dog. It is a type right there, okay? So I'm just typing the thing. And then I will say uh, a dog bark. So let's say, uh, and then we say this one is a string. Okay, uh, let me make sure that that flow goes well. And now let's say, for example, we're going to have another one, which is a cat. So if there is a dog, there is a cat somewhere, right? So uh, stay with me. So now we have this, this one is a cat and a cat Obviously, um, you say, yeah, obviously. So as you can see here, I have two types. So guess what those are? They are animal, right? So I can have a dog as animal or a cat, okay? So that's a, that's a basic, that, that, that's the way you will do that. So you can align them one after the other and then use that in your code to make, um, to, to basically write a, a, a much, much stronger code. So what do we have from now? We're going to have a function that say, uh, let's, let's have, let's actually have the animal sound. Okay. So, uh, and then obviously here you're going to have an animal and then you say, uh, it's a, if it's of type animal. Okay. So what you want to do is like, you want to go through the, 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 the parameter and start uh, looping through the, 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 the possibilities and then decide which which sound needs to be uh, uh, yield, okay? So now what you're just gonna do here, I'm just gonna take a simple animal and then you see when I say animal, I only see the property kind. Kind is just the property which is, you can see it's the share property between uh, dog and cat, right? So if I had other properties that are shared between those types, I will see them, right? So that's basically the union of both. So here I can only check on the kind, okay? So that's, so far it's something you you should know, right? Or you might have seen. So now let, let me just say in case of, now which, which case do we have? The fact that we're checking on kind by just saying, I'm putting that empty string, it gives me the option to have an, a, or a cat or a dog, okay? So I'm just gonna say a cat here. And let's say um, this one just going to return, um, let me put it this way, uh, the cat, the, the cat is, so what does the cat do, right? So here is the cat. So we know that we're dealing with the cat at this stage. So when I do this, you can see that in that use case, I only see, I only see, since I'm checking on the cat, when I tap dot here, I only see information about the cat. So animal here is cat. That's basically what we have. Okay. So, and, and, and you can just say this is for the cat. Okay. So that's one step. And now if I say I want to deal with the, the case, the dog case, I would just take it here and then say like, okay, when it's a dog, so once again, I have the second option, so like a dog, and then you say the dog. And as you can see right where here, you can see that now I have an error already saying, you're not in the, in, you're not in the dog, um, uh, uh, in the cat scenario. So that should be a dog here, right? So a dog, what does the dog do? So bark. okay, sorry, let's barking, okay? So this is our two, two use cases. So what I, I'm going to do, I'm just going, gonna call that, that function, okay? And I'm just going to pass a kind, so, and then you see that even when I'm typing the, the I'm calling the function, I can see that he gives me the, those two options. So I'm just gonna say a cat, and then, and then I will just say here, and what does a cat does? Well, uh, you 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 know it. So say mine here. So now, as you can see, when I when I run this code, 
I'm just going to run it here. As you can see, we have the cart is mirroring. Okay. It's, it's, it's pretty clear so far, right? So if there is any question, please ask them, uh, right below in the, in the, the section, the, the comment section, I'll be able to answer them or on the spot or, um, uh, 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 during the Q and A session, right? So we can see that that function works. So, so far we're not doing something really special, but we're missing on, on the few things, right? The first thing is the fact that when we have, we say animal.kind, if you don't handle that use case here, you see here, there is no error. There is nothing is happening, right? So this should um, basically um, uh, raise a, a concern because you're like, okay, this animal, what uh, the, the return of this function so far, it's if, if I check the return here, so we say, it, we, we call this thing and then it said it return a string, but sometimes it could be a cat or a dog and you don't know. So that, that here, that case isn't handled. So I'm going to show you a few things that can make this code more robust by using typing in TypeScript, typing in TypeScript. There are types in TypeScript. Okay. Never mind. You, you, you're getting this. So how would you do that? So the first thing here is basically to say, I'm going to add a return uh, value here. So I'm going to say, this is a string, right? So that's, that's the first thing I just add a type, right? So it, it is a string, it return a tree. The second thing, right? I'm going inside my TS config and I'm going to, ch to change the strict null check and I'm going to put it on true, right? Okay. And then you will say, now when I go back here, you can see now just by turning the, the TS, uh, inside the TS config, I turn the strict null to true. Now you can see that in my code, string here is complaining. It's basically saying this function lacks ending return statement and return does not include undefined. Yeah, because if that case isn't handled, the next one here will be return undefined, right? So that, that's basically what you're saying. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just return something undefined, but that's not what you want. So maybe it's what you will see here is I'm just going to say this is undefined. So you, you're handling this that way, but you're actually going around the problem. You're going around the problem by doing this. So here is one of, one of the good reasons to already put the, the strict nil at true. Right. That's, that's one, one good reason. So, but strict null, when you put strict null in your code, it could become really, really difficult for people that are not used to TypeScript. Okay. So with the type system only, I was able to detect that this is an issue. So look, let's go back here, put it back. And as you can see now, the error is gone. It is gone. There are two things we did. We just add a return value and uh, we add the strict null to true right here. That's what we did. Okay. And now when you see here in our playground, we see that the, the, uh, uh, there is no more error, right? So now let's take, let's take the, um, uh, um, let's say that there will be, So let's, let's take, let's take a situation where, for example, um, uh, we have, we don't have the strict nil, right? So let me put it back to false. I was reading your question right there, but I can see some people are answering questions. So keep going. It's really great. So I'm going back here and then I put, I put this, like I, I'm removing this part. Okay. So, uh, here is the thing. You can see now, even with the return value, we, we remove the strict null and we still have, we don't see the error, right? So now what you could do, what you could do, you can actually, I'm going to introduce you a concept called never, right? So never is a concept in TypeScript that just says, well, <laughs> that will never happen. That, that, that thing, that, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a way of saying, you will never go in there. 
you never you will never go in that that space right that's basically the, the 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 idea so the way you will do that you will create a function so let's create a function here and then we're gonna call that function fail okay so that function is gonna take an argument and that argument is gonna be like a never argument okay and that function is going to return never right so what you do here doesn't matter i'm just gonna throw i'm just gonna throw uh, an error a new error right and uh we don't there is no need to put anything here at this stage right I, i'm just creating that fail function right so now i have my fail function what's going to happen now is the fact that i'm going to uh add a default case here and then i will say when there is the default just return that fail function but that fail function is gonna take the animal so you see right away there is a problem you can read that it says argument of type dog is not assignable of parameter of type never right so what is basically happening right there is the fact that this function is able to handle the fact that sometime you you the, uh, the, the parameter you're going to pass in there uh, it, it, like what when all those cases are checked if one of the cases that comes from animal so that comes from here is an handle right the 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 uh, uh fail will basically raise that error right so this without actually turning on the the strict null is a way for you to make sure that you have that function that will block the non um, handle cases right so you can go back here in in that scenario and then you put it back you see it's working okay so this is basically the way you will use um yeah i'm talking here about discriminated uh, discriminated unions uh, in combination with strict null okay and I just introduced a concept of never type okay the never type so uh, you can read more on the never type it's actually some amazing thing that you could use uh, 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 right there okay so very good <laughs>